What's up guys? How's it going? Matthew here. So today, we're gonna be doing something different. I know I said that my next video was gonna be on Ifis, but something came up. Something that I think you guys are gonna find very interesting. I have been sending out a couple of resumes, and one of the companies that got back to me are asking for an assessment test. So what I have for you today is going to be an assessment test. I'm gonna be sharing this experience with you guys, because, you know, I'm a sharing kind of person. I'll stop. Enough of the talk, it's time to jump into it. Okay, so what we have here are actually the skills that were listed on that posting. I just want you guys to know, just because they show like a bunch of different skills, I mean, this is not bad at all, but if you ever see like a whole list with like, I don't even know, like PHP, .NET, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React. I mean, just the other day I saw in Indeed, they're looking for a React developer with I think six years of experience. React hasn't even been out for that long. Like, are you guys even know what you're asking for? I guess pretty much what they were saying is either you were in the development team of React or you don't qualify for us. Whatever, I digress, but let's get back to it. Okay, so as you see, HTML, CSS3, jQuery, pretty normal stuff. A thorough understanding of cross browser compatibility issues. Okay, Our experience with media queries, that is needed. A knowledge of CSS platforms, CSS readers, bootstrap. Bootstrap has got to be like uh, one of the most famous out there, if not the most famous. An ability to multitask on multiple projects at the same time. Huh. Okay, so proficiency in PHP, MySQL, and Ajax preferred. Now, Ajax, I mean, that's just a secret in JavaScript. If you've been working with web development for at least two months, then you've definitely worked with Ajax. You've definitely made an asynchronous call to an API or anything like that. So that Ajax to me doesn't say anything. PHP and MySQL are something which I haven't worked with. I'll be honest, uh, PHP I played around a bit. I don't know, I just didn't like the style of it. And MySQL, I haven't worked with any SQL databases. I've worked only with MongoDB. Um, but hey, there's nothing we can't learn, especially on the spot, right? We got this, we got this. Experience with WordPress, BigCommerce, Magento and Shopify preferred. Excellent reading and spoken English. Okay, so looking at this, the only thing that makes me a little bit concerned is the proficiency in PHP and MySQL. If that is in the assessment test, then I'm definitely going to have to do a lot of Googling. But it says preferred. So hopefully, they're not going to be asking for that. But we'll see. Now, I'm definitely going to blur some stuff out here because uh, I don't want to name out the company. I don't know if they would feel comfortable. Matthew, congratulations on making it into the next stage of recruitment process of our front end developer. <laughs> Okay, so from this thing, I, I got two things. Number one, 60 minute PSD to HTML CSS conversion. It doesn't sound bad, but 60 minutes, my camera is not gonna survive. And what I mean by that is, I have a Sony a6000, and unfortunately, they tend to overheat if you record more than half an hour. What's gonna happen is, I'm probably gonna start the whole process, and then that's gonna cut off, and then I'm just gonna wrap it up when that thing cools off and I'm, I think I'm, I'm gonna be done by that point. And also, even more important than that, uh, it says here, we use a system that allows you to submit a short introductory video of yourself. Uh, that means, guys, that I'm gonna have to go change. Ooh, what is that? Okay, I'm getting out of I'm not again. <clears throat> now let's get into it. So do not click this link until you're fully prepared for the test. You will start a timer the moment the page loads. Let's do this! And click. Let's go. What time is it? Okay, got it. So I should be down around one. Okay. Please note that we check all tests for players on copy. If you use any work product from any outside source, please be sure to mention that. Below you will find instructions for our front end development skill sets. You will follow a link to upload the zip file of your code into our system. Please try to spend 60 minutes or less regarding getting this to the best point. Okay. Please complete a pixel perfect PSD to HTML CSS conversion of this file found in the link below. Okay, let's download this baby. Let's see what it is. Okay, in the sub menu. Okay, okay. The sub menu, uh, I'm gonna have to work on that, but other than that, is a pay -zay. Other than the sub menu, the rest looks we got this, bro. 
I am gonna go for bootstrap to make this quite fast. And let's go! Huh? Oh, what's up guys? You must be wondering what happened. So, um, I think, um, uh, yeah, I actually think I did it. It was, it took me quite a while. It took me about, I don't know, I didn't keep track, but it was very close. This was a design that I had to copy. And this is what mine looked like. Now, like I said, what took a long time for me was actually this nav bar right here the sub menus that that took quite some time at least 15 to 20 minutes of my time were spent on the nav bar and on styling this underline because this is pretty much what i ended up with to be honest i just noticed this all i did was hover on top of these and it worked i'm like okay good but now that i'm looking at this shoot i should have uh, taken a closer look at this anyways um, so that's pretty much it. This was uh, my take. Uh, also, one thing I did notice, these items right here were actually lines on the bottom of this part. Yeah, well, I guess logo doesn't look exactly the same. Oh man, I just noticed! Oh, I didn't make these orange! Oh man, I didn't make... Oh, well, oh well. Look at this. I just saw this too. There's a white margin here. Oh. <laughs> Even the logo gets underlined. <laughs> okay. Okay, to be honest, uh, this was the best I could do given that time frame. If I had 30 more minutes, it would have been perfect. But I was stressed, I was being pressed by time, so that's all I could manage. Oh, I didn't even, <sighs> look at these, look at these icons. I didn't even put any margin. Well, guys, this was it for today. I know it could have been better, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna like spend an extra half an hour, an hour, make it perfect and be like, oh, this is what I sent. I'm, I'm the bad. <sighs> guys, please get on my level. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be honest with you and I'm gonna tell you this is what I managed to do in an hour. And yeah, it's not perfect. I wish it was. It has a lot of mistakes. Um, but I'm happy with the fact that I even managed to do all this. Whether this gets me in the next round or not, I don't know, but whatever. It was a, it was a fun assessment test. Uh, an hour is cutting it a bit short. Sure, if I was more experienced, I, I could have done this in an hour. Uh, let me actually get changed out of these clothes because uh, they're very uncomfortable. I'll be right back. Ah, much more comfortable. Okay guys, so that's about it for today. It was a pretty fun assessment test. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with what I managed to get in just an hour. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know you guys didn't see a lot. I just wanted you to get an idea of what an actual assessment test might look like. This is just one form of it. I've also had assessment tests that are algorithm based, but this is definitely something that a lot of companies look for, especially for front end developers. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I promise I'll try uploading videos more frequently. Uh, I'm so happy to actually see you guys subscribing. It's crazy. It actually makes me happy to see that you guys are enjoying the videos because I definitely enjoy making them. Even though I'm still kind of awkward in front of the camera, but um, we'll fix that, we'll fix that. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great week. And I promise I'll see you soon. Take care, guys. No.